Alrighty. Well, hey, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the Monterey Bay Aquarium here live on YouTube. My name is Patrick. I work at the aquarium here in social media. And thank you for everyone joining us on this stream. Hello to everyone joining us on the replay. Uh, sorry for the delay. We've been walking around this island today with some UCSC researchers going to look at California sea lions. And it is my pleasure, my honor, truly, to present to you Año Nuevo Island from the island itself. You can see my feet are firmly planted right here with northern elephant seals, California sea lions, amazing wildlife and the beauty here of our coast. We are here on a island that is usually closed off to the public that is specially closed as a part of this California State Park. And Nuevo State Park it also has a marine reserve attached to it. And uh, right out here we're looking at the famed house you can see from the shore just on the other side over here is actually the state park you folks can see from Highway 1. There's Waddell Beach over there. Hello Snake the Blood God. My name's Patrick. Thanks for joining us. Uh, so down over here is Waddell Creek and uh, over here is home sweet home. There's the Monterey Bay Aquarium right there. Hello, job. Thanks for having me out here today. We were specially invited by UCSC researchers and by California State Parks to come and show this amazing natural beauty to all of you folks. Again, normally closed off to the public, only available for research. So what we've been doing today is we've been uh, looking for California sea lions that are tagged here to try to figure out their population estimate here for the year. We already saw evidence of maybe the two first first pups of the year that we've seen out here on the island. What's up, board Arctosaurus? Thanks for being there. And uh, we are here right now looking for California sea lions. But we're also joined by this large group of female northern elephant seals and a mixture of juveniles all in here. These are all a lot of young elephant seals and some females. They're here molting. They're here getting rid of their skin all at once in what's called a catastrophic molt. They lose all of their skin all at once so that there's no holes in their wetsuit before they go back out into the wild. We have in here a couple of mixed species. So we have here, oh, you're a witness to classified information. Yeah, this zone that you're at, you're not uh, usually allowed to see this, but you know what? Uh, we're just gonna, don't tell too many people except sharing it with all of your friends. So all of you folks out there uh, can know what's going on out here on the island. They do look very similar to gray seals. These are northern elephant seals. They're the largest seal that we have in our area. They're second only to the southern elephant seal, I believe, as far as full size. That's a beautiful little burp you had right there. Um, so we have some California sea lions hanging out right here amongst the elephant seals. And then again, this house over here is uh, completely abandoned. Now we're not going to go into that house. I'm told that it's just absolutely thick with uh, sea lion poop and uh, bird guano and is a really disgusting place to go. So we're not gonna be heading over there. Um, there are seagulls for scale. Yes, there's a Western gull. They're all aware around us. They're surrounding everything over here is gull eggs. Uh, but what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna walk over to this side real quick and go take a look at what Patrick Robinson and Gino are up to. You can see we've got Patrick right here. We got Gino. They are bona fide researchers actually doing some work. Whereas I am here just to share all of this with you folks out there on YouTube. So again, this is California Highway 1 there. And we have Waddell Creek over here. And we have Año Nuevo State Park. We are here as a as guests here as a part of the um, research that UC Santa Cruz is doing along with many other research organizations on California sea lions and northern elephant seals. And uh, all beyond us over here is the Monterey Bay National Marine Sanctuary, which basically goes all the way down here to, uh, oh, they shed their skin twice a year. Very good question. Twice a year they'll be shedding their skin. Uh, there are some harbor seals in the harbor. Yeah, we saw a little baby harbor seal on our way out today, actually. Um, so straight down that way is the continuation of the Monterey Bay National Marine Sanctuary. It goes all the way down to the San Simeon elephant seals. And you go all the way up north, you get to Point Reyes and uh, the elephant seals over there. So just out over here, we've got lots of very fun stuff. Over here is actually the uh, southernmost rookery for stellar sea lions. So if you're aware of stellar sea lions, they are the northern cousins of California sea lions. They are truly, truly massive. And uh, this is one of the only 
or this is the most southern place that they're breeding. I'm not going to get too close to the rock work there. We don't want to scare any sea lions away. But over here, all that rock work you see right in there, that is where the southernmost range of the breeding parts of the stellar sea lions are. Then all around in here are California sea lions having a grand old time on the other side of this concrete divider here. I'm gonna walk back this way and head towards where the biologists are. Actually, before I do that, what we might wanna do is show you the inside of this house, which is really amazing. This is the Foghorn house that we are at. And uh, this Foghorn house is where we've been uh, staying for the day out of the, out of the elements. There's basketball here for when people are stranded overnight. Uh, we have over here a uh, California sea lion skull or two. For those of you out there interested in becoming a marine biologist, I recommend taking the marine mammal class because you'll learn a bunch of cool stuff, including the fact that this bone up here is called a sagittal crest. This is where the um, where the muscles attach to the lower jaw here on, an L on a California sea lion. So the taller the bump on top of the head, the stronger the bite, and hence everybody knows to leave that big boy alone. This over here is called the supraorbital process. This here is distinctive of an odoriad of a uh, California sea lion instead of a seal. If you had a seal, that'd be completely smooth right there. And then this here is... Uh, Oh, you want to be a marine biologist when you grow up? Awesome. Well, hope you uh, take those marine bio classes. I went to UC Santa Cruz. I'm here with UC Santa Cruz, so it's a lot of fun. Monterey Bay Aquarium is a great spot to go and use your marine biology degree. Over here, we have uh, the supra or the super orbital process. This is the sagittal crest. What am I talking about? Zygomatic arch is right here. And this part here is connected in a... Um, in that sort of just like pancaked one on top of the other way. If you're looking at a seal, it'd be fused a little bit differently. Uh, over here, you can see the nasal turbinates maybe on the inside of that nose there, uh, which allow these animals to breathe in and not lose as much moisture as they normally would by having some of that moisture condense. So uh, what we're going to do right now is we're going to go up these stairs to the super, super rad room that we have up here, allowing you to have a good overlook of the California sea line. Yeah, I didn't need a flashlight on that one. We're going to head upstairs here so that we can take a look at that California sea line rookery from above. Um, I don't know where the orcas are right now. I bet you they're in the Monterey Bay though going after the gray whales. Now, take a look at this room. This is pretty good stuff here. All you need is a bed, a stool, and a window out onto the wild Pacific. Super, super rad room at the top of the secret sea lion sanctuary. Look at you, you are hired for that alliteration. Send in your resume here in the comment section. So we are here looking at this awesome sea lion rookery that goes all the way down over here even further and in here is where um, Patrick and Gino were looking for tagged sea lions that are um, tagged all up and down the coast if you're seeing a green tag it was born here at Año Nuevo if you see a uh, orange, sorry, a red tag from San Nicolas Island, a yellow tag is from San Miguel Island. They're also looking for brands and numbers on these animals to see where they're coming from. White tags are going to be from Oregon. And uh, what we're trying to figure out is what these animals are up to here along the coast. And one of the best parts about having this reserve is that these animals are completely undisturbed by people. Um, oh, how do you tag them? Well, when they're younger, what you do is you uh, you have your permits and you go in and you put flipper tags on them and then as they uh, move up and down the coast biologists can spot them same way that you spot banding on a bird you'd be able to figure out uh, where these animals are coming from and so this protected area here gray whales are migrating yep they're heading north at the moment heading back up to the arctic to go grab some food so these animals you see here, they're a part of a research program, but they're protected here. And so not only are we trying to study where these animals are going, what we're also doing is uh, this is a natural area that are kind of like your canaries in the coal mine. If say a lot of sea lions were dying, if they weren't doing so well, then we would know 
that this is uh, something that's happening probably in the rest of the state we'd be able to manage that hard to tell what's going on in a sea lion rookery where uh, someone's dog might run into it or scare them off out here there's nothing to scare them away so you'd be able to see what's going on in a natural way whether or not these animals have enough food or if there's disease breaking out etc um, so that's why we're here today is with those California sea lions and just super cool look at this view ocean view rustic decor there are cormorants out here as well yeah and uh, sea lion adjacent um, you would never have a quiet day here but you would definitely have the dulcet sounds of sea lion rookery right there next to you all right we're gonna close up that wink back down these stairs from this really amazing room here in the fog horn building head down these stairs to go then talk to Patrick and Gino, see what they are up to. All right, back outside we go to the front. Oh, thank you so much, Mary G. Thank you so much for watching us here on YouTube. Again, my name is Patrick. I work at the Aquarium and Social Media, and we are coming to you live from the normally closed, uh, from the normally closed, Año Nuevo Island, a part of the Año Nuevo State Park, a part of the UC uh, Preserve System and a marine reserve itself. Uh, I'm now going to walk past our delightful solar array over here. Make my way over to the biologist corner. And we are going to be joined here momentarily by both Gino and Patrick. Gino, you don't have to be on this if you don't want, but I'm gonna flip this around real quick. Let's see, here we go. Hey everybody, I'm Patrick. I'm this, Patrick. This is Patrick, there's Gino. Hello. Hey, so we're live on YouTube right now for the Monterey Bay Aquarium, and uh, this is the, the third time we've done a live stream today. I'm gonna to say it again, you don't uh, agree with this, but Patrick's the man in charge, he runs the place, and uh, thanks for having us today here at uh, Año Nuevo Island. And what can you tell us a little bit about the research that you're doing here on the island right now with all of these amazing marine mammals? Yeah, absolutely. So we're doing uh, flipper tag and brand resites for the NOAA Marine Mammal Laboratory up in Seattle. So they are a federal government agency um, interested in protecting and conserving marine mammals. Mm -hmm. And so what they did is put out flipper tags down in Southern California on pups. And then we're basically reciting those animals as they uh, cruise up and down the coastline. And it turns out a lot of them stop off at Ani Nuevo. Nice, we got a NOAA fan right there. Awesome, yeah, so a complete collaboration here studying these animals between uh, numerous different organizations, federal, state level, local, local people. Yeah, so we have the NOAA lab, we have the University of California Santa Cruz, and the UC, the University of California Natural Reserve System. Wonderful. Together. Yeah. Cool, and so uh, from where we are, you've actually seen some pretty cool stuff already. This is our uh, your first trip to the island, my first trip ever, your first trip to the island here, and you've already seen some really cool stuff. Uh, what were you seeing just earlier on, on the other side of this lens here? Yeah, so uh, we just uh, over our shoulders here, we basically saw um, the first pup of the season uh, born on the island. So Very cool. It, it's actually kind of a, a interesting thing going on on Ani Nuevo Island right here. Um, historically, if you go back 10 or so years, there were just a couple dozen pups born here every year, so it wasn't really a breeding colony. Mm -hmm. Just within the past couple of years, it's ramped up and we've seen seven or eight hundred pups born. Seven or eight hundred pups, wow. Yeah, so we're really interested to see what happens again this year, if Dang. that's just a fluke or if that is a breeding colony now. So, I mean, we're just closer and closer to the Bay Area, so there's just a, a housing shortage kind of everywhere, so that do you see these baby sea lions like all just trying to like spend very little rent and stack on top of each other? Totally. Have you seen that yet? Yeah. Absolutely free rent out here. Free so rent. There you go. So it, real estate. So if you're a Bay Area pinniped and you're looking for a better rental situation, maybe stop by and in Nuevo and Patrick and Gino will be taking a look at what you guys are up to. Awesome. So what can you tell us maybe a little bit? I'm going to turn this camera back around. What can you tell us about this house right here that we're looking at right here? Uh, YouTube wants to know if we can go inside the house. We're not doing that today. Can you explain to us, Patrick, why we're not heading over to that wonderful haunted mansion over on the other side there? Yeah, so this is uh, back in the day from when this was a Coast Guard station, a lighthouse station. So there used to be a family um, that would live out here and man the, the lighthouse 
or it's a light tower, and can the Foghorn building out here, obviously to protect passing ships from all the, the rocks and the foggy weather out here. Um, that was abandoned quite a while ago, and unfortunately they just left the house to rot. It's a beautiful Victorian house, mm -hmm. and so it looks nice from the outside, especially from the mainland, but uh, you definitely wouldn't want to go in there. Um, there's about a foot of solid guano from oh. all of the cormorants in there, and sea lions also go in there, so there's all sorts of just nasty smells, and yeah, it's not a gotcha. pleasant place in there. We had a, a few questions over here about whether or not uh, you've ever seen any tsunamis out here. Uh, I know that there was the tsunami that happened um, uh, many, many years ago, that there was a little bit of sloshing out here, but uh, you're not too concerned about that out here, I imagine, right? As far as yeah. this background, yeah. Have you had like gnarly weather outside of like big tsunamis out here? Yeah, so we did have a researcher out here during that tsunami did you really? event. And I mean, it was basically just kind of like a really high tide right. for a few minutes. So, you know, not a huge impact out here. So tsunami check, you already have that off from the, from the research there. Absolutely. Awesome. Very cool. Yeah, as far as other extreme weather, um, you know, we get some pretty large swells coming in here. And the backside of the island here is very exposed to an ocean swell. I mean, today is a very calm day. Calm day. And these are powerful waves. You know, yeah. Ocean swells coming in, so, yeah, uh, we can see the reinforcements that we have right here with the seawall, where at the base you've got all of those uh, elephant seals there. We had a question just then about whether or not orcas are something that you see sometimes off of Año Nuevo looking uh, to maybe grab a snack on their migration. You ever see that? So I actually have never seen an orca from here. I'm sure that they occasionally occur offshore. Okay. Um, my problem is that I'm always looking at the pinnipeds on That's land. That's right. So it's not often that I'm looking out at sea for extended periods of time, but uh, I'm sure they're out there. Yeah. Um, so yeah. So you don't see the orcas because you're doing your best orca impression. They're kind of wondering like when you're going to pounce. It's not. You're, you're not very effective as far as. Yeah. Not so much. Yeah. Very good. Um, so yeah, uh, we do get earthquakes out here underwater. That was a very good question. Are sperm whales rare in the Monterey Bay? Yes, they are rare in the Monterey Bay, but we do see them. And actually, if you head over to the Monterey Bay Aquarium Research Institute website, you go to the hydrophone uh, page. We have a hydrophone down 900 meters in the, in the Monterey Submarine Canyon that recorded a sperm whale not long ago. You can listen to that recording there. Um, but uh, with that, I think what we're going to do is we're going to sign off right now from this particular live stream from Año Nuevo Island. A, again, a closed area for research where we're doing a lot of very important work, uh, but right adjacent to an area that is fully open to the public. You folks can come and see all these same marine mammals for yourself on a uh, guided docent led tour. Uh, but let me flip this back around. Patrick, any final words for the YouTube folks out there? We have a few marine biologists here in the comments, uh, a few folks that are looking to get into this career. So what, what can we leave them with today? Yeah, well, in terms of getting involved, um, there are a bunch of different ways, but um, the best way is just to come out to the state park and, and see the seals, and then uh, feel free to contact us at the university, and we're always looking for additional well, helpers to help us with research. You heard it here first. You can be a volunteer with Patrick. And uh, you can also leave a comment on this video for this Patrick and we can answer those questions for you. Thank you so much for following us here at the Monterey Bay Aquarium here on YouTube. Thanks for tuning in and for joining us. This beautiful, beautiful spot, this little gem here on our coast. Thanks for having us, Patrick. And uh, we'll see you again soon at the Monterey Bay Aquarium on YouTube, everyone. Thanks for being there. Now we just got to turn off the stream.